And welcome to Only Connect, the quiz of fiendish hidden connections. Not ideal for anyone who thinks tangential means something that tastes of tangerine. Or is that its original derivation? No, it isn't. But there will be a sweet taste of victory for one of two teams. On my right, it's the philosophers. Ben Walpole, a maths and philosophy student. Cosmo Grant, also a maths and philosophy student. And their captain, Peter Berry, studying German and philosophy. All in their first year at Merton College, Oxford, they are the philosophers. Peter, you're studying German and philosophy. Yes. Are there many laughs in that subject? They say the Germans don't have a sense of humour, but they're, they, they can be fun at times. Are you confident in the range of your team? You're all philosophers. Who will do the sport questions? Ben will do the sport questions. But um, no, philosophy is a very broad subject, and so you can study so many different things within it that we feel that having three philosophers allows us to cover lots of different areas. Well, we'll see if you're right. Your opponents tonight are the Hitchhikers. Chris White, a politics and economics student and a keen railway enthusiast. Fiona Constantine, a music student and mezzo-soprano. And their captain, Tom Scott, a freelance web and video designer, known collectively as the Hitchhikers. Tom, where do you hitchhike? Uh, it's sadly not, uh, not around the country. We all met in the Douglas Adams Society at the University of York, and he's the guy who wrote The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Ah, and what are the strong and weak quiz subjects for your team? I think we're, we're definitely going on science fiction, if that comes <laughs> out. Um, Fiona's a music student, so we're hoping she'll be able to get the music questions. Probably a bit weak on literature. Uh, if those come up, we might start to struggle. Well, only one way to find out what's going to come up. Let's play the quiz. Philosophers, you won the toss, so you'll be going first. In round one, the teams simply have to tell me the connections between four clues, although if they can guess the connection while seeing fewer than four clues, they'll get more points. Five points if you can do it after one clue, three points after two clues, two points after two clues, one point if you see all four clues. So, have a look at the board. Pick a Greek letter. Epsilon, Epsilon please. Yeah. Your first clue is coming up. Time starts now. Aquavi, just the name, Latin name, Bath. The bath. Um, next, Aqua Fortis. I don't know. It's like they, the different types of bath or something. No, no, no. Like the the city of. No, it's Aqua uh, Sulis, isn't it? Aqua Sulis is Bath, isn't it? Next, Aqua, it's, it's a city. Spirits of salt. Oh. Any ideas? Oh, next. Next, oil of vitriol. Well, they, those. Are Ten they're all genitives, like, they're all aqua regis and aqua fortis, so water of the king and water of... Three seconds. OK. They're all genitives. They're all something of... Something. There's something. Yeah, I'm afraid that's a little bit too loose and yeah. baggy an answer for this rigorous quiz. I'm going to throw it over to the hitchhikers for a possible bonus. I think they're all names for acids. Exactly so. They are all old alchemists' names for acids. Do you know which acids? Oh, I think... No, not... not <laughs> I'm bluffing, if I try and guess. Nitric acid somewhere in there. I think that might be Regis, but I'm not sure. Aqua Fortis is nitric yeah. acid. Aqua Regis, nitrohydrochloric acid. Spirits of salt, hydrochloric acid. And oil of vitriol, sulfuric acid. It's a rather beautiful name, isn't it? Mm. I think I produce oil of vitriol naturally. <laughs> especially when I reflect on my brother's professional success. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a bonus point to you, Hitchhikers. You may pick your own Greek letter. Alpha, please. Alpha, first clue coming up. Time starts now. Oscar Niemeyer, Brasilia. Um, he's the... I think he's the guy who designed Brasilia. I'm not Was sure. They're, they're the architects. It's a, it's a built city. It's a planned yes. city. Um, but I'm not sure... Another one. Do you want... Uh, next, please. Charles Barry in London. I don't know who Charles Barry no, is, I don't I'm afraid. Know. Next, please. This seems like a logical progression. If what did Bra Brasilia... Ah, uh, did they design the cathedrals? Uh, Brasilia Cathedral... Yeah, but then it's London, uh, it's next, London please. Cathedral. Norman Foster. Um, they designed... Oh, parliament buildings. Oh, oh parliament. yes! <coughs> uh, Chris. Uh, they designed the parliament buildings for the respective countries. Just in the nick of time, they designed <laughs> parliaments in their respective countries. Well done. 
Philosophers, pick a letter. Delta, please. First clue coming up. Time starts now. A typewriter. It could be anything next. Oh. Minute rules, that's by Chopin. Um, next, please. By the Sleepy no, Lagoon, I don't know. Um, next, please. I don't know what that is. The only one I've heard of is a minute one. Yeah. I think the typewriter's a film, but... I don't know. Um, it's not a very interesting one. <laughs> I don't know. What? Um, Ten seconds. Something about Chopin, something about the minute walls. Go on, Peter. Um, Just an interesting bit of trivia about the minute walls. Three what seconds. Key is it in? What key is it in? Letter. They're all in A-flat major. <laughs> <laughs> they, they so aren't all in A-flat major. Valiant guess, though. Do you have any idea, Hitchhikers? Do they all imitate... Uh, objects, or it's a household object. So the typewriter imitates a typewriter, the minute waltz imitates a clock. And Barwick Green. Yeah, it does kind of fall down there, admittedly. <laughs> I'm sorry you don't know this. Shall I whistle Barwick Green for you? Go on. <whistles> I can't whistle in tune. Oh, they're all theme tunes to Radio 4 shows. These are all theme tunes to Radio 4 shows. The typewriter is a theme tune to the brilliant news quiz, minute waltz from... Uh, Just a minute. minute, come on, wake up, by <laughs> the Sleepy Lagoon is Desert Island Discs and yeah. Barwick Green is the theme to the Archers. Yeah. No points there. Hitchhikers, pick a letter. Uh, beta, please. First clue coming up. Time starts now. Audio CDs. When were they introduced? Uh, the 1980s, I think. They, they hold 74 minutes. They are round. Uh, next, please. Details of the budget. Held... Red uh, box. Red box? No, red box or red boxes. Red book is the format for audio CDs. Details of the budget held in a red, red box. Book. In, a, in a red book. In a red book. Do we want one more to be sure, or is it worth? Uh, is it worth taking a guess on red books? Let's let's have one more. Next, please. Yeah. yeah. Red. Ten seconds. Uh, red books. Absolutely correct. Fourth in the sequence would be quotations from Mao Zedong. They all make use of a red book. Audio CDs work to the red book standard. As you mentioned, details of the budget are published in a red book. This is your life. Always about surprising a celebrity with a red book, and Mao Zedong, of course, published the little red book. Philosophers, your question. Zeta. Zeta, first one coming up. This is going to be a picture question. Time starts now. Rainbow. Rainbow. Next. Something to do with Isaac Newton, I don't know. Um, next. Dandelion seeds. Um. Next. Wishbone. Okay. Oh, you wish on them. Are oh, they. Wish on the rainy day. Wish. wish on there. Yeah. yeah, you wish on dandelions. Wish on a shooting star. Wish, wish on a wishbone. Okay. They're all things you wish on. You've got your first point. They're all things that cause people to make a wish. Hitchhikers, just one letter left. You will be getting gamma. And this is going to be the sound or music question, so shout next when you want to hear the next clue. Time starts now. Any ideas? I can't remember what it is. No. Next, please. Wash him out, dry him out, push him out, fly him out, cancel him. I don't know what that is. And let him I'm still blanking. Next, please. That's oh, beautiful south. That's beautiful south. It's placed in the Netherlands. Um, next, please. That's South Park. Uh, directions. That's uh, beautiful south. South. Yeah. That's the same to South Park. Yeah. It's got to be south. South. That is the correct answer. You didn't know the first two. Didn't know the first two. In the South by Elgar, and oh. I'm going to wash that man right out of my hair from South Pacific. Ah. Yes. They were the yeah. first clues. So at the end of round one. The philosophers have got one point, but the hitchhikers are in the lead with five points. In round two, there are still four clues, but this time I want to know which is fourth in the sequence. So you may see up to a maximum of three clues. Again, of course, the fewer clues you see, the more points available. Philosophers, pick a letter, please. Epsilon again. Epsilon, please. Always. OK, you will see the first in a sequence. I want to know what would come fourth. Time starts. Now. Could be anything. Next. Yeah, um, surprise. They're all emotions. Like, what order are they in? I don't know. I don't know. Um, um, yeah, some sort of book. On. Next. Ruthless efficiency. 
It sounds like it's sort of chapters from a book or something. You have any idea? Oh, OK, so, like, yeah. some self-help book. <laughs> yeah, um, what, what could come next? Ten seconds. Uh, any ideas? Forward plan. Forward. Three seconds. Forward planning. It's a beautiful suggestion, but to be honest, if you don't know this one, you're really not going to get it. Hitchhikers, any idea? A fanatical devotion to the Pope. I'll accept it. <laughs> devotion to the Pope would be the last one. The connection, of course, things that remind me of my old gym teacher. <laughs> what did you think the connection was? Uh, it's Monty Python's Spanish Inquisition yes. uh, sketch. They're main weapons. They're exactly. one, two, three and four main weapons. The weapons of the Spanish Inquisition, according to yeah. Monty Python. Well done, hitchhikers. Pick a letter, please. Gamma, please. First in a sequence coming up. Time starts now. OK, wait, uh, a. G. Is that a, oh, is that a G? That's a G. Yeah. Um, gram, kilogram, ton, yeah. something like that. Next, please. Gram, joules. I'm still thinking... There's no, there's it no might not be SI units. Uh, next, please. P. G, J and P. Uh, are they mathematical terms at all? I don't think so. Oh, what was that? A pence, but then... But no, that doesn't... That, um, and there was nothing between groats and pence. Like, Ten seconds. Um... Oh, good grief. Uh, they're not electron orbitals. What's the fourth electron orbital? I don't the, know. Um... A. For what reason? Absolutely not. Well, it isn't A, oh. and your reasoning is also very incorrect. <laughs> Philosophers, would you like to have a go? S. S. For what reason? The same as theirs. <laughs> I see. Fourth in the sequence would be Q. This is one of our fiendish visual questions. They are small letters in the English alphabet that have a downwards descender. When you write them out, yeah. a line below the line and alphabetically, next one would be yeah. Q. Philosophers, pick a letter. Delta, please. First one coming up. Time starts now. Control Z. Control Z, control Y, control... Control X, control C, uh, control... Yeah, control should we just check? Next. No, 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 the fourth one's going to be... Paste. Next. Can't copy, copy, paste, so it's paste. 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 For what reason? It's control Z for undo, control X for cut, control, control C, C for copy, copy, control V for paste. Exactly so, and three points for getting it after just two clues. Well done. Hitchhikers, pick a letter. Beta, please. First one coming up. Time starts now. Observation. Rounds in the Krypton factor. <laughs> um, I don't know any more than that. Uh, parts of the scientific method. Next, please. Um, Observation statement. Oh. The rhetoric terms. I no, it's got to be a sequence, but I can't remember what it is. Well, yeah, there's um, Cicero uh, wrote rhetoric terms in as to four, but I can't remember what the fourth one would be. Uh, next, please. Hypothesis uh, and um, uh, theory result. C conclusion. Conclusion. Um, Ten seconds. In terms of rhetoric, so uh, do you want to go for... I can't remember what that is. Oh! Oh, it could be. Oh, well, I'll well, take it. Yeah. Three seconds. Chris? Experiment. I'm going to accept it. We would have called it testing, but they are, as you mentioned very early on, stages in the scientific process. Next stage, of course, knocking over the Bunsen burner, setting fire to her overall. <laughs> or it was when I was at school. Do you know who devised these traditional stages of experiments? I'm going to take a guess at um, Hippocrates. Close. Medicine. Alhazen of Basra. Not close at all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but very good, you got that right. Philosophers, pick a letter. Uh, Zeta, please. First one coming up. Time starts now. Capital. Could be anything. Next. OK, Archive. so the top is going down the column, yeah. and then you've got... What comes next? The body on it and the foot. Is that what they're called? I don't know. Called the foot. It's not going to be called the foot. It's got a proper name. The, the um, base. Um, no, it's not. The ped pediment. Uh, it could be. Could it be? Um, any? We've still got 15 I'm seconds. Like um, any better suggestions? You're sure they're all. Ten seconds. You're sure the first two. Are, uh, Should we go next, just to make sure? Um, no, I don't no. think we're going to get it any better. Pediment. I'm afraid not. Uh, Hitchhikers, would you like to have a go? I'm going to show you what's third in the sequence. Can you tell me what is fourth? Um, um any ideas? Third. I can't let you debate. No. He's Chris. Foot. No, it isn't. Your problem there, I'm afraid, philosophers, is that we weren't going down a column. We were going up a column, and at yes. the very top would be... The roof? Cornice. Cornice is what would be at the top, as you carried no. 
on going up the column. So that leaves uh, one more for you hitchhikers. It's going to be Alpha, and it will be the picture question. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Time starts now. That's a blue circle. Any yeah. ideas? No. No. Next, please. It's a yellow oh, ring. Ring? That's the Olympics. Oh, good. But in There's what five. order? No, it can't be. There's five of them, and they're, they're not in. It's three and two. Next, please. Oh, I don't know why I asked. <laughs> It Man, could be. I think it, it is, but I'm trying to... Is it's it red and green, I think. No, there's three at the top and two at the bottom. Yeah. Are you sure they're Olympic rings? Or... I what, can't think what of anything else, else it could be. be? Um, Ten seconds. Blue ring. Yeah. So it'll be a... It'll be red or green. We'll take red ring? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Red ring. I'm afraid not. I'm going to throw it over to the philosophers. Green ring. Why do you think that is? <laughs> the Olympics. <laughs> Have you perhaps benefited from the hypothesis, well, no. observation <laughs> and testing of your opponent? I'd, I'd worked out they were Olympic rings and I had the same problem. I didn't you know what they were rings. You will get the point. They are rings on the Olympic flag going left to right. Not along the top row and then the next row. It's a chain, so it would be going along like you would in a photograph, left to right. That means at the end of round two, the philosophers have improved to five points but the hitchhikers are still in the lead with eight points. <music> Round three is the connecting wall. Hitchhikers, it's going to be your turn to go first. We're nothing if not fair. In this round, of course, there aren't four clues. There are 16 clues, all jostling with each other on a wall. You've got to divide them into four neatly connected groups of four. There'll be some clues that could go into more than one category, but there's only one perfect solution. Now you have the chance to choose wall alpha or beta. Uh, wall alpha, please. Alpha. OK, you're going to have two and a half minutes to solve this. Your time starts now. OK, uh, types of graph. We've got bar, column, pi... Uh... Scatter. Scatter. OK, there's got to be another one in there somewhere. Line is there as well. Yeah. Uh, OK, let's take a guess that... No, let's knock out pi. There's yeah. a couple of surnames going on, rather well. Simmons. Hmm? Thinking of something else. Uh, OK. Uh, Lemon Crump Giles. Uh, Giles Corrin. Uh, Giles. Uh, we've got Bell. We've got Bell. Can you have a Bell? Graham Bell. Possibly. Um, Graham. Graham Bell. Graham. I don't see any of the Grahams. Uh, radar. Radar is a word. Uh, it's become an acronym. Um, a radar graph is a radar's graph as well. You get graphs from there. Um, There's also debris crumb. Debris, crumb, what's they're, the connection? Uh, well, they're all little, kind yeah. of little bits, like scatter. Scatter and crotchet. Yeah. Um, crotchet uh, and a bar are both oh, musical oh. terms. That's true. Uh, any other musical ones in there you can see? <sighs> Unless you count line, not really. No, what's seven going to be? What's seven going to be connected to? Uh, Blake, seven, seven dwarves, seven... Deadly sins. It's a number, though. It's definitely a number. Um, OK, Simmons. Gene Simmons? Yeah. No, it, it doesn't have a D in it. Um... I'm going to keep trying. Yeah, go for more oh, graphs. Right, column, line, no. I don't think combinations are against us here. Who's Heath? Yeah. Who's Edward Heath? Yeah, well, it's... Um, um, no, the Prime Minister. No, there's nothing else I can see there. You've got a minute left. Oh, um, tidy, what's tidy going to be? Um, tidy, keep written tidy, tidy. Um, tidy. Um, Lemon, all names for things that are wrong. Uh, that you well, send yellow, what else is yellow? Yellow, nothing else now is, no. is yellow. Um, debris, I'm getting... Uh, Heath, okay. Edward Heath, Heath Bar. Um, Heath Bar is a type of chocolate. Um, crumb Bar, uh, no. No. Um, 30 Sim seconds to go. Oh, grief. Simmons and Bell. Any, uh, what you... I can't think of seeing any way you haven't tried for that. Radar and scatter have to be in there. <sighs> mm. There must be some more surnames. There must like be some more Simmons. surnames. Crum, Simmons, Crotchet. Uh, characters in uh, Dickens. Crotchet. No. No. Um. Oh, no. <sighs> I'm afraid your time is up. Oh, dear. Flummoxed by the yes. wall. Well, luckily, you went into this as points leaders. Yep. And of course, there are still points available for the connection. Yeah. So we're going to let the wall resolve itself. Those are the groups oh. you should have found. Okay. So, oh, yeah. bonus points if you can tell me the connection. Bar, lemon, seven, bell. They're all things you see on a slot machine. They are fruit machine codes. Not gamblers, any of you? 
no, no, I'm not. <laughs> well, I'm pleased to hear it. You see, the, the loss in points is your moral soul's gain. <laughs> Crumb, column, debris, or crochet, though you pronounce it crotchet. Um, any ideas? I can't see anything. We're going to go with types of knitting then, I guess. I think it was possibly the pronunciation where you fell down. The word crotchet would have an extra T in it. Mm. Oh! Horrifically, they're all words that close with a silent letter. Oh. Crumb, column, debris, crochet, you do not Cross. hear the last letter. Mm. Next group, radar, pie, scatter, line. Those are all the types of graphs. <laughs> Graph charts, really, no. charts for statistics. Yes, you'll get that point. And tidy, Heath, Giles, Simmons. Any ideas around here? I'm going to take a guess on that. The surnames of the members of KISS. But I think Gene Simmons is spelt differently. <laughs> That's a beautiful guess. They are cartoonists. Uh, Bill oh. Tidy, Michael mm. Heath, Carl Giles, Posey Simmons. Cartoonists. Giles Corrin, for once, not the answer. <laughs> so, you get two points for the connections that you've got. Lucky for you, there's still another round to go. Mm -hmm. Let's see how the philosophers get on with their connecting wall. They're going to get a new wall, 16 fresh clues, but the exact same principle. You're going to have to divide it into four exactly equal and perfect groups of four. No choice for you. You're getting the beta wall. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it. Time starts now. What have we got? Um, Big Bang Theory, Chaos Theory. Big Bang Theory, Chaos Theory, String Theory. Game Theory. Game, game Theory. theory. Yep. There's a group. Um, uh, oh, what else is that? Uh, Body parts seems I, a bit obvious. Yeah, but, uh, uh, try it anyway. No, it was never no. going to be that, was it? Um, uh, a bouquet. Bouquet knows all things smell. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. that's quite good. Um, um, that smells body. Uh, <laughs> um, odor, odor. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, no, no, no. Okay, um, get this one. Oh, hang on. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, Peter. Um, what else is there? And, uh, childhood. Um, childhood games. Childhood, childhood games. games. No, no. Hand games. Okay, let's look for <laughs> prefix. Guessing games. Is. Guessing games. Um, childhood games. Funny games. Hand games. No. What? If you use one. Get that. Okay. Um, so prefixes and suffixes. Yes. Um, um, what can we have? Childhood. No. Um, Finish line. Body line. No. What else is there? Anything to do with the words? I can't see anything obvious. No. no. Um, uh, yeah. You've got a minute left. Um, what? Hand of cards. Uh, hand. I can't see anything. What's this? Uh, I guess that's what it is. Um, <laughs> um, funny bone. No. no. Legs. Um, legs. Legs. Power of legs. Health. Oh. Bouquet of flowers. Um, you throw a bouquet. Is there anything else you throw? Thirty seconds left. Uh, Body line. That was a cricketing tactic. Body line. Finish, finish line. line. Um, uh, what else? What funny else? line. Funny line. Oh yeah, yeah. Look. Uh, Oh, hand line, wind line. A wind line it could be. Um, um, I oh. No. <laughs> on to five seconds now. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Okay. You got off to a ferocious start, yeah. kind of fizzled out. <laughs> Nevertheless, you've got a point for that group, and you'll get another point if you can tell me the connection. Big Bang, Chaos, String, Game. They're all theories. theories. Scientific theories, exactly. And there are more points available for the connections, so let's see okay. what the groups should have been. So, health, funny, wind, body. What's the connection there? They are types of farm. But not the animal oh. type. Health farm, funny farm, wind farm. Do you know what a body farm is? Not a clue. It's somewhere they put bodies to measure the bacteria and the decay as practice when they dig up corpses in other places. Right, it was in Stephen Fry in America. He went to a body farm, I think. I should have I mean, known Who that. wouldn't? <laughs> lovely, lovely tourist attraction <laughs> yeah. for any holidaymaker. Next group, nose, legs, finish, Which, bouquet. Uh, we think to do with wine, terms to describe wine. They're yeah, good enough, yeah. ways of judging wine. Oh. Most of us go purely uh, by yeah, price yeah, and yeah, percentage. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the knowledgeable nose, legs, finish and bouquet, they talk about that. Next group, coming, hand, childhood, guess. Uh, 
game, guessing yeah. game, childhood game, yeah. hand game. Oh, no, you simply put them after the word second. Oh, second coming, second, second hand, second childhood, second guess. Oh. So, one point for the group you got correct. Two more points for the connections. That's a total of three points. Okay. Let's see how that leaves the overall scores at the end of round three. The philosophers have got eight points, but the hitchhikers are still just in the lead with ten points. Everything to play for then in the final missing vowels round. This is where we take well-known names or phrases, remove the vowels, and then re-space the consonants. And teams, I want you to tell me what those names and phrases are. You'll get a point for each correct answer, but if you give me an incorrect answer by so much as one letter, I will deduct a point and throw it to the other team for a bonus. So it's open competition now, fingers on buzzers. I can tell you that the first group are all endangered mammals. Hitchhikers. African elephant. One point. Philosophers. Black rhinoceros. One point. Hitchhikers. Orangutan. One point. Philosophers. Bacterian camel. I'm going to throw it over to the other team. I'm afraid you lose a point. Bactrian camel. It is Bactrian camel. Every vowel is important here. Next group, rulers who abdicated. Hitchhikers. Napoleon the first. One point. Hitchhikers. Mary Queen of Scots. One point. Philosophers. King Farouk. One point. Philosophers. Edward the Eighth. Yes, it is. Next category. Hello in different languages. Philosophers. Guten Tag. One point. Philosophers. Oh, no. Too long, you lose a point. Hitchhikers bonus. Aloha. Aloha to you, one point. Hitchhikers. Hola. In Spanish, one point. Hitchhikers. Buongiorno. The Italian, one point. Next category. Literary works set during wars. Hitchhikers. For whom the bell tolls. One point. Hitchhikers. Richard III. One point. Don't know this one. It's tricky. It is a translated title. The Iliad. Next clue. Philosophers. The last of the Mohicans. Yes, it is. Next category. Major South American rivers. Hitchhikers. Orinoco. One point. A tricky one. Aconcagua. Next clue. This one's not candy floss either. Maule and Chile. Next clue. Well, that last one was Colorado, but that is the end of the quiz. And after a decisive round four, the philosophers have got a very respectable 11 points, but the hitchhikers have got 21 points. So, hitchhikers, you have thumbed a lift on the Ferrari of success. Philosophers, I'm afraid you're on the minibus of shame. <laughs> We'll see you again in the quarterfinals. I hope we'll see you again next time. Metaphorically speaking, I can't actually see you. I'm just staring at an autocue. Goodbye. <laughs>Coming up this evening, a marriage laid bare on the altar of apartheid. How one woman coped with the brutal fight for racial equality in South Africa. Sophie Okonedo stars in brand new drama, Mrs Mandela, next. <laughs>